Hello, welcome to Nick's school. I am Nick. Hey, you want to have some fun? Let's go and play some games. Okay, let's play alphabet game. You don't know alphabet? Okay, I'm going to teach you how to learn English alphabets. Okay, let's go. Okay. In English, there are alphabets from A to Z. Say, repeat after me. There are alphabets from A to Z. In English, there are 26 alphabets. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Okay, let us learn the first half of the alphabets uh, uh, in this session. Okay, are you ready? Okay, this is letter A, like an apple. A is pronounced as A, so becomes apple. A equals apple. Okay, let's look at some more examples now. Oh, here we have four different examples, all starting with the letter A. Let us learn these names. We already learned apple. The next one is aeroplane. That fly. And arm. I have two arms. How many arms do you have? Count. Okay, this is a this is an ant, like small things that crawl on the carpet. Have you ever had an ant bite? Oh boy, that hurts. So you, you need to stay away from the ants. Okay, now we learned letter A and the wor words starting with A, like apple, aeroplane, arm and and okay let's go to the next letter now this is letter b this is b like in ball b is pronounced as b ball so letter b is the second letter in the alphabet and letter b is used for words like ball let's go and look at some more examples of letter B. Okay, here we have letter B, which is pronounced as ba. So now let's look at here. Oh, we already studied, we already learned ball. Okay, what is this one? This is a bicycle. Oh, right, you are right. And what is this? This is a bed. Oh, look at how ni nicely the bed is made up. Okay. This is a B. Oh, if you see a B, you need to run. If you get a bee sting, it's going to hurt and it's going to form a big bubble. Oh, stay away from B. Okay, let's go to the next letter. Uh oh, here is letter C. C is the third alphabet in the English alphabet chain. Okay, letter C, an example is candle. C is, is pronounced as K, K, uh, K, candle. Okay, let's look at some more examples of words starting with C. So we already studied candle. Similarly, what is this one? Oh, this is a camera. How do you, how does a camera work? You want to see how the camera works? Let me see if I can get the camera to work. Okay, when you click on the camera, what happens? Ah, oh, you hear the that sound. You hear? Did you hear the camera sound? Okay, and this is a car. You have cars, don't you? 
Yeah, just like that. It starts with the letter C. And here's another one, cat. Do you have a cat in the house? Do your neighbors have a cat? You know how a cat sounds? Meow, meow, meow. So if you hear that sound, meow, meow, that's a cat. Maybe check it out. Your neighbors or somebody may have a cat. Okay, let's move to the next letter now. This is letter D, da. D is pronounced as da. And here's an example. What is this? Oh, I'm sure you must have seen this. You have a dog in your house? Oh, really? How many dogs do you have? Oh, you don't have a dog? How about in your street? Do you have a dog? Yes? Uh -huh. How does the dog, dog bark? <laughs> so D <coughs> is for dog. All right. Let us look at some more examples of D. Okay, this is D, this is door. When you enter the house, you go through your front door. That is right. Dollar. When you go to the ice cream store, what do you have to give? You have to give dollars. And what do you get back? Ice cream. Oh, my mouth is watering. <laughs> Deer. Oh, look at that. Look at the deer has long horns. Oh my gosh, it looks so pretty. Then your friendly dog. The dog can be a small one and it's called the puppy. And usually people have the puppies inside the house. Do you want to get a dog? Don't know? That's okay. Okay, let's go to the next example. Oh, this is letter E. 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 And this, what is this? Ear. Okay. It's through your ears that you hear the sound. You are hearing my sound coming through your ears. Okay. Here, how many ears do you have? One, two. I have two ears. How many ears do you have? Count it. One, two, that's good, wonderful, I like it. Let's go and look at some more examples for letter E. You see, letter E is the fifth letter in the English alphabet. All right, let us go to letter E. We already studied E, egg, ah, egg. Oh, that's the egg that you eat for breakfast with cereal. Oh, look at that. How nicely is it is uh, smooth. It's got a nice oval shape. That's an egg. You can make a scrambled egg or you can have an egg omelette or you can have like a egg uh, mixture. Oh, look at this. What is this? These are eyes. These are pretty eyes. Each person has how many eyes? Two eyes the left eye and the right eye. So you have the left eye and the right eye. So every person has how many eyes? Two eyes. Oh, wonderful. The eyes starts with letter E. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is a huge animal. It, what is this? It's got one, two, three, four legs, a tail and a tusk. Ah, I bet this is an elephant. Oh yes, this looks like an elephant. Man, elephant also starts with letter E. Did you see that? My gosh, look at this. It's also got this ivory tusk here, as you can see. Okay, we learned letter E and all the words beginning with letter E. Let's go to the next letter now. Now letter F, here is letter F, right after E. Letter F, and what is this? Come on, you know. Don't you see this in ponds, fishing in the water? Yeah, this is a fish. F, fish. 
Okay, let's look at some more examples for letter F. Okay, here is letter F. We already saw fish. And what is this? That's a French horn. It's a musical instrument. This is what people play when they are in a group playing orchestra. Okay. And you should know this. What is this? Come on, you know. Tell me what it is. Fork. You are right. This is a fork. What do you use the fork for? Oh, you use the fork to eat your food. Ah, that's good. Okay. Oh, what is this? Oh, this is a fan. This is a fan in the ceiling. That kind of round goes around. And it blows the cold air. So that's a fan. And all these words, fish, French horn, fork, and fan all start with the letter, what? F. You guessed it, the letter F. Okay, let's go to the next letter now. G. G. And here's, well, who is this? This is a girl. So, G for girl. G is pronounced as G. Girl. Let's look at some more examples for letter G. We saw already G, girl. Now, here's a glass. It's a glass filled with some liquid. This is a glass. And what is this? This is a musical instrument called guitar. Ting 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 ting. You like to learn guitar? Oh yeah, when you grow up, you can get a toy guitar and then start playing. Ding 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 ding. Okay, when you grow up much bigger, then you can play golf with a golf ball. So this is a golf ball. People play in big green fields like the one we see here. This looks like a big golf field to me. What do you think? <laughs> All right, let us move on. Let's go to the next. Oh, this is a letter H. H like in hat. H is pronounced as ha, 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 hat. This is a hat. This is a hat you put on your head. The one I'm wearing is a cap. Like they call it a baseball cap. This is like a gentleman's hat. Okay, this is letter H. And as you can see, H it comes after G. Okay, let's look at some more examples for letter H. We already saw hat. Oh, house. Oh, how you see your house? You have two stories or one story? Do you have a garden in front of your house? How many windows do you have in your house? That is a house. I like my house. Do you like your house? It's pretty? Okay. Do you keep your room clean? No, naughty, naughty, naughty. You got to keep your room clean. Okay, this is a hut. This is like in old days, people used to live in a uh, hut made up of bamboos and dry leaves. But no, most people live in the houses like the one you are living and I am living. Okay, what is this one? This is a halt. Where is your halt? Your halt is in your chest. What does the halt sound like? And when you are running, what happens to your heart sounds? Your heart goes fast. So that is heart. So hat, house, hut and heart. All of these start with the letter H. Okay, let's go to the next letter now. This is I. I for ice cream. Oh, 
Remember when we talked about the dollar that you have to give dollar before you can get the ice cream? Aha, uh -huh, here is the ice cream. Ah, ice cream starts with the letter I. Okay, let's look at some more examples of I. We already saw ice cream. Oh, here's the Iron Man. Ting, 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 ting. Here's the Iron Man. And ink. This is an ink pen. You write with your ink pen. You can write alphabets, you can write numbers, and you can make symbols. And this is an igloo. This is where people live. It's like a house. You see that one? So, ice cream, iron man, ink, and igloo all start with the letter I. So, repeat after me. Ice cream, iron man, ink, igloo. Wonderful. Okay, let's go to the next part now. Oh, this is after H, I, J. We come to letter J. J looks like a hockey stick. All right. The letter J is pronounced as J, J. And what is this? Juice. Orange juice, did you say? Ah, yeah, you are right. There are many kinds of juice. There's orange juice, there's tomato juice, there's vegetable juice, and there's fruit juice, there's watermelon juice. Oh, there are so many varieties of juices. But this is a, a glass of juice, starting with the letter J. Let us look at some more examples of words starting with the letter J. We already saw juice. And what is this? This is a joker. <laughs> like a joker, you know, in a circus, he's playing with all these balloons and all these things. That's a joker. This is a jar. This is a jar where you can put from dry flowers uh, or you can put some money and you can make it a money jar. You keep it uh, in your living room. Ah, jolly beans. Oh, they look so sweet. Ah, would you like to have some jolly beans? Do you like jolly beans? Okay, let us look at all the letters starting with the letter J. Juice, joker, jar, jolly beans. Okay, repeat after me. Letter J, juice, Joker, jar, and jolly beans. You got it, my friend. Oh, we are having so much fun with these letters. Let's do some more letters now. Let's go to K. Letter K. And what is this? Key. Key. So, letter K. And this is key. Key begins with the letter K. I'm saying letter K, the key word begins with the letter K. Let's look at some more examples for letter K. And we saw key and see there are two sounds for K. That is key, key and this is knee. Sometimes the letter becomes silent. You can't hear the sound. It looks like just knee. But there is a letter called K, that is a knee. You'll learn about that later on. Don't worry about it. King. Let's look at this king. Oh, look at the crown on the king's head here. Man, I love this knife. Have you seen a knife in the kitchen? Your mommy cutting vegetables and fruits? Ah, ah that is the knife. And you also use a knife to cut uh, meat on your plate, don't you? Anything on your plate? You use the, what else we use? Fork, knife, and spoon. These are all the things that we use uh, while having lunch or dinner. Wonderful, that is the knife. So let's repeat all the letters, all the words starting with letter K. Ki, ni, King knife. 
Okay, let's go to the next letter here. L. L comes after K. Okay, you are good. L. Lemon. Lemon. Have you seen a lemon? It's got a nice bumpy texture, yellow, and it's got tapering ends. And when you cut it in the middle, the juice keeps coming out. Boy, if you put lemon in your mouth, it will be sour, like acidic. It is really sour. But when you add it to the food, it gives a real nice taste. You see what I mean? That's lemon. Okay, let's look at some more examples of words starting with L. We saw lemon. What is this? Oh my gosh, look at this. This is a lion. That's a lion. What is this? This is a leg. Leg also starts with the letter L. And this is, this is a living room. Like in your house where you sit and play with your friends and with your parents, that's called a living room. Ah, and look at all the furniture in the living room. So let us repeat all the words starting with L. L, lemon, lion, leg, and living room. Okay, let us do one more letter. Letter M. Meh. Meh. Letter M is sounded like meh. Example, magnet. Do you have a magnet? You know, magnet, if you put magnet on the ground, it picks up all the metal pieces like iron. It attracts all the metal pieces. That is called a magnet. Okay, let us go and look at some more examples of uh, M. We have magnet. Oh, oh, you know who this is? This is a little monkey hopping on the rope. Look at this, he's holding on the rope and trying to jump. Monkey. And what is this? This is a mouse. Oh, you don't want a mouse in the house. This is a mouse. And what is this? This is like a big bag of money. Money. All the small, the coins they get, you get in the bank, they put all of them in a bag and they tie it with a rope and it is called a money bag. So let us repeat all the words that start with M. Magnet, monkey, mouse, money. Well, how do you like the alphabet game? You like it? I tell you what, next time when we meet, we're going to complete the remaining alphabets. The alphabets that are remaining are N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. When you have finished with this, you would have learned the English alphabets and guess what? You also would have learned more than 100 English words. Oh, you're going to be so happy when you know 100 English words. I tell you what, why don't you go back and watch this video again and again and again and repeat everything I said so you become better than me then you can teach English alphabets to your brothers, your friends, your sisters, everybody. How about that? Let's do that. So next time when you have time, just go and listen to the whole video and repeat what I said. Every word I have said, repeat it. In that way you learn the alphabets, you learn the words and you learn how to say them. Then you become like a good teacher yourself. Okay, I will see you next time. Bye-bye.